Bongi leka leka na mbongi andai Daru taya mbero kunivula Au me mate ya mate dhandu momu ni ndrende Kino no muosa Siega tale ni ulo maru warua Se umba uwa katitinga Kalo kalo ni vila vi Hola guys Welcome to our river tubing log today Today is celebrating my wife's uh, 26th birthday so we decided to try the river tubing here in the Vua and um, as you can see there are um, now probably like 30 of us that's here and we're going to be tubing down all the way to the base so I do recommend it for the tourist people and for all kinds of people yellow, black, green, white or brown you're welcome here to the island of Mavua. So as you can see, we're walking down to the river, getting ready to get our tubes and uh, jump on a boat. Um, but as we were parked up, we were given an instructor. His name was Uppy. Now Uppy was really funny. He was really kind. Um, also sharing to us about the history of this river. And um, yeah, he was just down to earth. What I love about this trip was that Abigail managed to get us a local price so that's benefits with uh, marrying a local Fijian you get the local prices so we managed to get this trip for $90 per person but if you were um, booking from Australia or New Zealand or US you'll be expecting to pay roughly around $155 but yeah it was uh, really good really nice and uh, man one of the best trips eh Alright guys, um, as you can see, it's kind of dangerous for us to go through here, but um, Abigail is going to go. River tubing here in, um, where is it? Some butter village. village. We will remove our hats okay. and then we're gonna walk past the village like five, six minutes uh, garden walk. That's when you can put on your hats back up. Okay? How are you feeling? Good yeah. experience? <laughs> yeah? So, can you just explain why you have to wear the lava lava to the village? Because uh, it's respectful. Yeah. So all ladies were told to um, bring a lava lava to <laughs> as respect to the village. Yeah, and then we have to take off our hat. This is nice, man. So after this, we'll be going um, having lunch after this, say. Oh, 
question? Yeah. Wait, somebody's gonna take that. Okay. Hi. You guys grab any phone or camera? Hey, come <laughs> so when we go past that signboard, we will remove our hats, okay? Until we get to the edge of the village and you can put them back on. So the name of this village, Sambata village, as it's written there. As you enter the village, you'll see it's a small village. Just one extended family lives here but they are part of a very, very big tribe. One of the biggest tribes of the highlands called the Waimaro tribe. They are in other provinces, other villages, even at coastal areas. They're everywhere due to their involvement in the uh, tribal wars we used to have back in the day before Christianity came in and put a stop to all that, okay? So when we enter the village, I'll tell you more and feel at home, okay? Don't be shy, speak to them. They are happy to have you here, okay? You can Let's hear the go. echo. Yeah. The echo. Actually. <laughs> Watch out. Alright. You go put your hand on my wrist. I'll put your hand on my wrist. Put your hand on my wrist. I'll put your hand on my wrist. Kind of reminds me of um, Wayne Adoy walking up this back when I was in the Bible College. Isa. Please mind my breathing in the video. I need to lose weight. <laughs> yep. I should have asked you for it. <laughs> so you see that green building up there? That's the village church. It's a Methodist church, just one denomination. As you can see, it's just a small village, small population. But if you go to other villages, the bigger the village, the bigger the population, you'll find two, three denominations in the same village. Okay? Here is just one, but in all Fijian villages, native Fijian villages, it's just Christianity. Christianity came to Fiji in 1835 and they started sharing the faith to the chiefs. That's why they were successful. Because when the chiefs uh, accept the faith, they just commanded every person in their province to accept the same faith too. There have been stories of uh, missionaries who get persecuted up here by the Highland people. But I will tell you some of those stories. I don't want to scare you. Okay, since lots of kids here. All right? <laughs> So when Christianity came in, no more tribal wars. Wars was just fighting over land, fighting over women, okay? But uh, when Christianity came in, no more wars and also no more cannibalism. If you are still cannibals, we won't be seeing you as guests. We'll be seeing you lots of white meat. Maybe lots of white meat for the whole month, okay? <laughs> 33 people live here full time and life here is very simple. It's just going out to the farms, fishing, hunting wild boars. It's up, it's really entire, I mean, entirely up to them when they want to do their work, when they want to take day offs, okay? And um, 
for women, it's just looking after the family, looking after the house. And in their spare time, they like to weave mats. Maybe when you have a look around in all the houses, you might find some women weaving mats. These are mats woven from pandanas leaves. And uh, it's a very important thing for us, not just for us Fijians, I believe in all the Pacific Islanders too. Okay, these mats are used, presented as gifts when we attend the traditional functions. Come on, it's raining, let's go to that shed. You wanna use the washroom? Washroom is right there. Pula, oh. pula. All right, we just now arrived to the waterfall. Uh, just came back from the village. That's uh, a really interesting history about this river and the war. Uh, really good. But now we're just gonna walk up to the waterfall, have a swim, and then get some lunch, and then tube down back to the river. Alright, we're here at our last stop. We just finished having lunch. Um, there's probably like, what do you reckon, 30, 40 of us that's all here? 30 or 40 of us that's here. So we just came back from the waterfall and now we, um, everyone's just having lunch here. And um, yeah, we're about to take the tube. And we're gonna tube down back to where we came from. Probably like four kilometers, they said. And um, we'll take up probably like to like one hour. How's it going, boys? Homemade, homemade cigarettes. Pigeon tobacco. This is all the bones, only the bones are left now. Oh, wow. Yeah. All the flesh. Yeah. It's gone, so only the bones now. And the it bones are the strongest. Wow. So you just smoke it like a normal... Yeah. Uh, inhale it? Yes. Oh. Nice. How long does it like um, take to... Like a normal cigarette or... Yes. Is it like normal paper or the actual like... Uh, it's a normal paper. 
Oh, okay. Yeah. And uh, this is much stronger than uh, Benson and Hedges. What if I just smell it? You smell it. Mm. Strong, huh? It smells nice. <laughs> oh, no. Thanks, boss. One dollar for cutting. Yeah. Yeah. And then you open it up. And then take out the leaves. Yep. And, and then leave the bones for wow. later. The bones are for later. Nice. Okay, so after we're done with the flesh, and we're then start with the bones. Woo and the best is the bones. Bones, huh? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, man. You're not gone. Look at that. Nice view. So, unfortunately, I won't. I don't have a um, a cover to a waterproof cover, so I won't be recording myself going down the tube. But um, yeah, we'll be going down here all the way back to the base but I do recommend uh, for those coming to Suva probably like 30 minutes to Navua yeah it's a good some people come from Denarel I'm actually from Nandi to come here for a tour so it's um, really good got to experience the culture got to experience uh, history in this river and um, yeah I really enjoyed it So, big Vinakavaka level to the tubing Fiji for the orphan effort, hospitality. It was just amazing. Thank you. It's my beautiful wife here. Yeah, Titi. It's her birthday tomorrow. So, uh, it's going to be 26, going to be 30 soon. <laughs> 26 so, to 30. 26 to 30, so. 